feature recent eye popping content that was released directly. Yo, 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 what's good? Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Chill, man. Back with another one, man. This one right here, man. It's about your boy Polo G, man. Chicago rapper, man. He done made it out. He doing his thing. You know, just like your Chief Keith, your your little dirt, you know what I'm saying? All of them, you know. He you know, he in the Chicago scene, man. This dude here, man. Everybody's talking about what he's saying. He's talking about he's at the gas station pumping gas. He got, you know, seven hundred K worth of jewelry on. And he he in the Bentley, the Rolls, whatever. That's something that you shouldn't even be talking about. Something you shouldn't even be saying. You shouldn't even be talking about any of that type of stuff. And, and he, well, he just saying he can't be touched. And people commenting, your boy academics. I mean, he's he's the first one. I ain't gonna say the first one to hop on it, but academics. He's talking about it, man. And uh, I just want y'all to see what he got to say. You know, I mean. Me personally, I don't care if you got ten million on, five hundred on, ten on. It's like that's something that you wouldn't even like want to brag about. Like that's nothing. Like so what? And it's probably not worth nothing if it's not like for a watch. You got an iced out watch. You got a regular watch. Regular watch can give you more on resale. You know when you when it's time to sell more value. So it's like depending on what he got, like it don't even matter. So it's like, what are we talking about? It's people that have more expensive stuff than that that we look at. That's artists. Like, come on, like, so what? Like you said, seven hundred k. Like Drake has a watch that's ten million. So what? Like, don't nobody give a fuck. And then you talking? Oh, I'm in the Bentley. It's, everybody got. Man, come on, man. That ain't shit either. Like, like, what are we talking about? I mean, yeah, it's good you doing your thing. I'm not saying you're not doing your thing. Like, yeah, you good, but it's like that's not something that you want to brag about. You got to do that in peace on your own time, man, and enjoy that, that you can do that, if you can do that, you know? So it's like, come on, man. Now you done made yourself hot for the enjoyment that you're supposed to be having from, you know, taking a break from being a celebrity and not being known and talked about and can't go nowhere and... You just you trying to ruin you being able to go somewhere and people give you a break not you know like you good like I don't know man y'all gotta check this out man let me know what y'all think man comment in the comments man like I don't know you want to have peace man when you when you a big celebrity you know but hit the comments hit that subscribe button hit that subscribe hit that subscribe do that for me and uh let me know what y'all think in the comments stuff for real about this check him out Peace. polo g he posted a video of him wearing seven hundred thousand worth of jewelry to the to the gas station and he was letting n know he's like that you feel me why the hell did you feel the need to make a video that you're you have seven hundred thousand dollars in and, and jewelry on and you're outside let's be honest rappers are not the predators they're the prey we have a list of rappers who've gotten robbed or shot or killed and as much as you might be a gangster or a killer we all realize that the unknown element is probably are going to have the drop on you when you're the known element you're polo g you're pnb rock you're king bond and People knowing where you are and knowing what you have, even if you tough, it don't mean they can't surprise you and take what you got or take your life. I did an interview with him and I kind of asked him, I said, bro, you think you should be moving better? He said, nah, I'm moving fine. So if this was he means, <laughs> listen, I can't say nothing, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, who robbed you? Polo G. And what did Polo G take from you? My wallet, my phone, my bread, everything. So the Polo G, the rapper. The nigga. How you look? Andre, Polo G. D nigga. And what else you what you do for Polo G? I was gonna do security for him. And what what type of weed you took him to get? Whatever that weed was, I don't know. It and what he what thought he it liked. was? Month, he thought it was some OG or something. And know. what did how much money he took from you? Four hundred. Yo ass drunk. Polo G I, ain't took shit yeah, from you. Yeah, he boy. did, nigga. Yo ass. What you wanna tell him? Who you who Polo G, you rich ass, crazy ass, dumb ass nigga, bring my motherfucking phone back. 
Ooh, Crazy ooh. ass motherfucker, you worth seven million dollars and you rob a poor old ass nigga like me. That's fucking crazy, man. Bring my motherfucking, give my motherfucking phone back. What day he robbed you, gang? Saturday night. What kind Rich of time was he? Robbing an old poor nigga, man. Give my fucking phone back, man. Damn. They said butter crime. Let's watch this video. <laughs> Butter, butter, butter. Put it like this. Was he over whooping? Like, was that a regular cry? I know butter. Y'all don't know butter. Y'all just watching this video and this perspective on For Them Grave. Y'all see butter on the internet. Y'all don't know butter. Y'all don't know Rakeem will eat different. And the first thing y'all say, J Man, I thought folks was supposed to be gangsta. Now look, let's just break this down now y'all arm been broke before i don't know it's but an arm or is it ha his hand if your arm is broke bro is you gonna cry i'm gonna let y'all answer that in the comments some of y'all was thinking he was crying because he was locked up looks could be deceiving or was butter having withdrawals bro butter was not supposed to be locked up bro so if y'all watch this whole video he breaking it down he say i should have let folks take his weight butter is an entertainer do y'all think butter didn't know he was on camera let's start there this butter who get locked up all the time right and when he got out what he do he went viral for his what for his jail videos right now he understands that he's on camera put it like this when i broke this shit down bro i scratched my ball spot a couple times but it was whooping like this on purpose bro ain't angling the camera all the way down bro i'm ass naked but is that y'all business it hit different do y'all homework on me being ass naked shooting this but i can't go all the way down bro my point is everything is about perspective in life bro do y'all homework on perspective. Fast forward to West Suburban Hinsdale last week. An officer tried to pull over a car driving erratically at 5 a.m. when the driver fled. It's all over the roadway. Just smoked the curb. The driver crashed into an embankment. Just threw something outside the window. I can't tell what it is. Hands out the window! Hey, put your hands out the window! Hey, get back in the car! Back in the car! Get back in the car! Foot pursuit over the tracks. Officers quickly caught up to Will. Stop! 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 Once he was cuffed, he clammed up. What's your first name? I ain't got it right. What do you want me to call you? Police say they found two guns. That combined with Wilton's criminal history raises questions. Our oh, heck nah, FBG, but arrested in high-speed chase in cop with two guns. The man is no stranger to law enforcement. He testified in the high-profile murder trial for Chicago rapper Grunt gunned down in the Gulf, uh, Gulf Coast. That's right. As investigative reporter Ben Bradley found a series of arrests and convictions hasn't been enough to keep him off the streets. Gunfire in the Gold Coast in 2020 created a startling scene. Shell casings next to luxury boutiques. Prosecutors said rival gang members gunned down Carlton Weekly, better known as FBG Duck. This man, Rakeem Wilton, testified at the federal trial, providing insight into a raging war between rival Southside gangs, but refusing to, as he put it, snitch on anyone still alive. 
Fast forward to West Suburban Hinsdale last week. An officer tried to pull over a car driving erratically at 5 a.m. when the driver fled. It's all over the roadway, just smoked the curb. The driver crashed into an embankment. Just threw something outside the window, I can't tell what it is. Hands out the window! Hey, put your hands out the window! Hey, get back in the car! Back in the car! Get back in the car! Foot pursuit over the tracks. Officers quickly caught up to Will. Stop! 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 Once he was cuffed, he clammed up. What's your first name? I ain't got no name. What do you want me to call you? Police say they found two guns. That, combined with Wilton's criminal history, raises questions. Court records show he pled guilty to conspiracy to commit murder in 2015 and was sentenced to eight years. He only had to serve half that time. He's also been charged with aggravated unlawful use of a weapon at least three times in Cook County. He was convicted once and got a year. Another case was dropped after a judge suppressed evidence. Cook County prosecutors sought detention after the most recent arrest in March but a judge released him. My girl good? Your girl's good. I will. Whatever's going on, put it on me. All of Wilton's previous crimes occurred in Cook County. Last week, he was one mile into DuPage County when he was arrested. State's attorney Bob Berlin charged him with a Class X felony, and a DuPage judge ordered him locked up and held until trial. Police aren't sure what Wilton and his girlfriend were doing in Hinsdale at 5 in the morning. So where is he right now? Locked he, up? He's locked up in the DuPage County Jail, but the story draws that distinction between similar crime, unlawful use of a weapon or possession by a felon. In Cook County, you're oftentimes yeah. just right mm -hmm. back out on the street. In DuPage, they upgrade the charge. Yeah. And you Homicide came and that bitch like, your sister's dead. Ooh, you don't know who killed them. No, they that bitch aggressive as hell, shorty. They you know who did it. You just gonna let them get away with killing your fucking sister? Get like the fuck back up off me, cuz. But, but who... Ultimately, from your knowledge, who who killed K.R.? Gee, I don't know, bro. I saw Big A. You feel me? Because you were there when K.R. was killed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Got hit in the knee, Sean. Got an artificial kneecap, man. To my ACL. Got a, I got a rod in my leg, in my knee. Was y'all walking out of the store or standing nah, at the man, corner or some shit like that? Chilling, just on the block chilling, bro. Jesus, on the block chilling. For real. Welfare head on black hoodie. Black and nobody shit. and nobody seen him walking up nothing. Nobody's. Nope. I told you them niggas shoot from the corner, cuz. You thought I was playing? I ain't trolling, bro. Them niggas different, G. Them niggas killing us and telling on us, gang. That's what's going on, bro. So both of y'all were shot. I mean, what, did somebody who took her to the hospital? Who helped you out? Like, man, you know what? I thought I had a warrant, bro. So got out of that. I was scared, bro. I'm damn, I ain't, and I was a devil too. I was like 18, so I'm like, damn, I gotta go. I'm on parole, so I gotta hold parole. So you have been on the run for like six months. I go home. I'm with my mama work at the hospital. She gonna do that. She be able to do something about it. Got that. My goof ass passed out. Jay Main smacked the shit out of me, folks. Yeah, yeah, he did his bitch ass. He get up, folks. Get up, folks. I'm Jaja. -ja, get up, folks. Uh, oh, my eyes looked at him, oh, boy, this nigga just smacked the shit out of me, bro. The fuck? And at that time, you didn't know K.I. was dead yet? Hell no, I ain't know K.I. did until two days later. After I got out of search, on props, under the medication and shit, homicide came and that bitch like, your sister's dead. Ooh, you don't know who killed them? Nah, they and that bitch aggressive as hell, shorty. They you know who did it. You just gonna let them get away with killing your fucking sister? Like, get the fuck back up off me, cuz. Back the fuck up. Who the victim here? The fuck is you talking about? Get the fuck back. Bag up, bro. <laughs> they and this bitch tweaking. I'm gonna go get my mama. Where my mama at this bitch? They are you you old enough for us to speak with you?